What's up beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and this is Bond Book Reviews and today we're going to be delving into the deep dive that is my TBR. So I've already done videos on the uh, series that I have yet to start that I own and the series that I have been in the middle of and still need to finish. But today I'm going to be diving into my standalones, my entire owned standalone TBR. Now my plan to do this is for two reasons. One is so that I can look back on this later and realize how long I've had books for, so when they were on my shelf from, and two, so that you guys can vote which books I need to prioritize. I know that there are a couple YouTubers that do this every year, and then people use those votes to help them pick which books they should read. So I have my shelf behind me currently in genre and then rainbow. That's just how I have my standalone shelf. So what I'm going to do is go through this in terms of genres. There'll be timestamps down below of the different genres. Uh, so if you are looking for a particular type of book that I have on my TBR, that will be timestamped down below. But I'm pretty much just going to tell you the title. I'm not going to go into anything about what these books are about. It's just literally going to be a record of my entire own standalone TBR. This obviously does not include uh, book box books because I have those stored separately. And it also doesn't include uh, my entire Jodie Picoult or Nicholas Sparks TBRs because they are in a different place as well. So they're not included in this, but this is my entire owned standalone TBR minus those two books. Let's get started. Starting with Fantasy. The Messenger by Marcus Zuckus. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. The Beast Garden by Kate Forsyth. A House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig. More Than This by Patrick Ness. Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Times Convert by Rebecca Harkness. Fire With Fire by Destiny Soraya. Weave World by Clive Barker. Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. Game Changer by Neil Schusterman. The Beginning Woods by Malcolm McNeil. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Galilei by Clive Barker. Alice and the Fly by James Rice. Bitter Greens by Kate Forsyth. The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. The Sin Eater by Megan Campsey. Now we're on to our thrillers. Life or Death by Michael Robotham. The Dilemma by B.A. Paris. Little White Lies by Philippa East. I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. The Outsiders by Stephen King. The End of Men by Christina Sweeney Baird. Black Widows by Kate Quinn. Pretty Baby by Mary Kubica. The Burning Girls by C.J. Tudor. The Fifth Letter by Nicola Moriarty. The Lab by Jack Heath. Win by Harlan Coburn. The Wife Between Us by Greedy Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. Cedar Valley by Holly Throsby. The Ruin by Dervla McKinnon. Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh. Who Did You Tell by Leslie Cara. Three Sisters by Claire Boyd. What the Woods Keep by Catch of D. Becerra. When You Are Mine by Michael Robotham. Catches the Foxes by Nicola West. The Hush, Sarah Foster. Bring Me Back by P. A. Paris. Twisted by Steve Cavanaugh. No Turning Back by Joanna Lees. Devil's Lair by Sarah Barry. Where the Truth Lies by Karina Kilmore. The Deceptions by Suzanne Leal. An Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chabotsky. This also doesn't include any of the books that are on previous lists that I've done, like 23 books of 2023, 12 books of self-destruct, all those kind of videos. So they're not included in this. Now we are up to the historical fictions. Night Road by Kristen Hanna. Nightingale by Fiona McIntosh. The Far Side of the Sun by Kate Furnival. The Paris Seamstress by Natasha Lester. The Ventriloquist by E.R. Ranzapur. The Woman in the Green Dress by T. Cooper. Letters from the Lighthouse by Emma Carroll. Settling Rain by Jojo Moyes. The Liberation by Kate Furnival. The Last True Heart by Diary Fraser. Kiss from Mr. Fitzgerald by Natasha Lester. The Betrayal by Kate Furnival. The French Photographer by Natasha Lester. The Girl in Times Square by Paulina Simons. Homefront by Kristen Hanna. Angel Falls by Kristen Hanna. You'll Never See Me Again by Leslie Pierce. The Woman's Pages by Victoria Pernan. Perman. <laughs> the Woman's Pages by Victoria Perman. Worth Fighting For by Mary Ann O'Connell. 11 Hours by Paulina Simons. Jane in Love by Rachel Givney. And The Juliet Code by Christine Wells. Lastly, we have our miscellaneous shelf. This is like romances, literary fictions, memoirs. That's pretty much it, really. <laughs> Good Dog by Dan Gemmenhart. Sex and Vanity by Kevin Kwan. Sapphire Falls by Flo McDonald. Kay's Anatomy by Adam Kay. Marsh and Me by Martine Murray. Inner Holidays by Christina Lauren. Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. Sex, Lies and Bonsai's by Lisa Walker. If You Want to Make God Laugh by Bianca Miaris. Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Healy. The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. The Dog Runner by Bren McDibble. Before We Yours by Lisa Wingate. Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz. This One Summer by Gillian Tamaka. The Glory by Lawrence and John. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. The Strangers in the Lifeboat by Mitch Album. 27 Letters for My Daughter by Ella Ward. The Place on Dalhousie by Melinda Marchetta. The Devil I Know by Claire Kilroy. The Austin Girls by Lucy Worsley. Fleishman in Trouble by Taffy Brodus Ackner. 
Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon, Life in Outer Space by Melissa Keel, The Girl with a Lower Back Tattoo by Amy Schumer, 488 Rules for Life by Kitty Flanagan, Being Miss Nobody by Tasman Winter, The Tiger Catcher by Paulina Simmons, Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. There you have it. That is all the standalones that I need to read that are on my TBR. I am pretty proud of this list. I will put the number up of how many there are here so you can see. Obviously, as I said, obviously this doesn't include the 23 books that are on my list for 2023, some of which are standalones. It also doesn't include my Jodie Bacolt or Nicholas Sparks collection, which is probably another 15 or 20 books or so. And it also doesn't include my book box books, but most of those I believe are fantasies and they are first in a series. So I think it's okay for them to not be included in this list. So if you made it this far already, make sure you drop in the comments down below which you would like me to prioritize. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, because I'd love to have you join the fam. And if you don't want to vote for any of these books, but you still want to support me and leave a comment, then you can leave a book stack emoji down below just to say hi. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and happy reading. Bye.